This is my Max Tor Fireball 3 hard drive from February 4th, 2004. It has a capacity of 40 gigs. It works, but has a couple reallocated sectors. I don't know how many. The value reports as 000 on and on F. So I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Uh, but it doesn't have any bad sectors, only reallocated ones. This drive's still fully working. Uh, it says here on my label that it has 870-something hours, probably meaning 8,700-something hours, but it couldn't read any further than that. Checking again today, however, it reports 52,000 hours, which is absolutely insane, especially that this drive is still working as well as it is. Uh, clearly, either this particular drive is a miracle, or these Max Tour drives, at least this particular model of Max Tour drives, aren't as unreliable as, say, the Diamond Max drives. Uh, so I have no idea, but this drive came out of a desktop I rescued from the dump. I made a video on that desktop. It's not very good because it was, like, uh, back in 2019, and I just started YouTube, so it's not that good. But uh, it's on my main channel. So I, I'll link to that in the description anyways. Uh, I, that computer still works. I've just upgraded the drive since then. So this one's on my shelf now. It still has Windows XP Pro, and it's there if I need it. But seeing how many hours it has, I wouldn't exactly trust it. It could go at any time, especially since it's a Max Tor. I'm not going to uh, plug it in using this modern USB adapter to my main PC so that I can read some files from it so you can hear how it sounds. All right, so that's it for that part of the video. It's a very quiet drive, uh, but just one last thing to note before we end things here. It's actually very thin. Here is it up next to a more modern Western Digital Blue drive. Here's the back. So yeah, this is a very thin hard drive, which is kind of cool and interesting, much thinner than any other desktop drive I've seen. And the name Fireball 3, by the way, uh, I believe is probably derived from the Quantum Fireball hard drive since a few years earlier, I think the Max Tour actually acquired Quantum. I'm not sure exactly when, but it was a few years, I think, before this hard drive was manufactured. So that's probably where the name com came from, definitely. Uh, kind of cool name for a hard drive. More interesting than Western Digital Blue. Looking at this drive over here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see everybody next time.